Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Curtis. I'm a paleontologist here at Fossil Crates. And I am here today to share my favorite frog. Let's just get right to it. This is Beelze Bufo, the devil toad. And this is arguably the largest frog that has ever lived, at least that we've discovered. If you check out our Fossil Crates blog, you can read all about the animal size. It's incredible dimensions, but you can see it here. What's cool is it's got armor on the top of its head. This thing we think is a Captifrinid, a Pac-Man frog, which means it can open its mouth gigantic style, hugely wide, and swallow something that was as large or larger than itself. There's examples of Pac-Man frogs eating alligators that are much larger than it, and they're just x-rayed sitting inside its belly. These were voracious predators. And the thought is, if these lived in Madagascar, they lived at the very end of the dinosaur times, they lived alongside this guy, Majungasaurus, Maj, gal in this case, and it lived and probably ate things along the water. So this animal would burrow, we think. It would use its hind feet to dig a hole like they do today, back inside, and it could probably had camouflage. And check out the mouth. It has, it's lined with teeth all across the top, but not on the bottom. The bottom would have had a massive tongue that would forp out and then drag the prey in if it didn't just choose to go whole bite on it. These teeth are sharp and this has massive bite strength. You can see this jaw actually could open up much wider than what we have here. If you do need an ultra wide jaw, send me an email and we'll try to work with you on that especially if you're putting it on display in like a museum and you're trying to tell a story. And this thing has one of the most powerful bites. The jaw musculature is massive. This thing can bite hard, harder than most mammals. If this bit me, I would be howling in pain and agony. Huge eyes, big nose, just lays there on the, patiently waiting, either on the shore, ambushed, or maybe in the water. If you've seen a certain show called Prehistoric Planet, you know what happens to baby Mashikasaurus. Got a little too inquisitive, didn't listen to his mom. This is by far the coolest specimen of our good friend Beelzy Bufo. This was created from laser scanning the original bones. This is research grade specimen. This is museum quality display ready, but it's also ready for research because this is truly made from the 3D elements of the bone. This was carefully modeled with Dr. David Krause overseeing. And he was one of the people who found it, and he was one of the people that named it uh, in 2008. This is an animal that is ready to rock. It's got the standard frog craziness. I mean, look at this weird back end here. Just do a dinosaur sauropod guy. There's no tail, so I move on. But it is really cool. I love this specimen. It sits proudly on my desk. Look at that. Here's the frog. I'm Dr. Brian Curtis with Fossil Crates. Thank, thank you kindly. Adios. Oh, oh, I should tell you, get yours today at fossilcrates.com. And you should be aware that a large percentage of your purchase is donated to the Anchese Fund. The Anchese Fund is a charity that helps the Malagasy children with education and health care in the villages that are right by where these Madagascar fossils are found. Thank you kindly. Adios.